I always tell them poverty is not a hindrance to success. Mm. Once you see how how you can use your situation, how you can you see when life gives you a lemon, make a lemonade. Every time I go out in the community, I see children suffer from different abuses. Neglect, physical, verbal abuse. Before they were registered in compassion, they have very poor self-esteem. They feel like this, this is small, I am this. But once they learn about their identity in Christ through compassion, as you can see, obviously the, they are so confident because they, they know who He lives in their heart. And that's because of compassion and the church. It's a holistic change actually, it's a transformation, total transformation. You see, before they were registered in compassion, they didn't even know whether they can go to school because some of them are members of large families. Rodlin there, the young evangelist, has eight younger siblings. And she didn't know before if she can go to college with no allowance every day going to school. But now she's about to finish grade 12 and will be enrolling in college soon. It is very important that Compassion has actually impacted on everyday lives of the children. There's no fear of getting sick. Anytime they can go to the center to ask for assistance. And there is also the annual medical checkup. We provide shoes, uh, uniforms, uh, bags, anything that the money allows. I'm somehow uh, relieved to see them thriving as confident boys and girls, to see them through uh, going out of poverty with the right direction. If we can invest money in gadgets, in beautiful houses, why not invest in the child's life? And you are investing in a nation. What is a few dollars if you can transform the whole community through sponsoring one child?